Good evening, Sports Chaser Podcast, Thursday night. I'm driving the bus, folks. I'm driving the bus. It's me, the DA, Mike Millies. We on tonight, tonight, Sports Chasers Podcast, February 24th, 2022. Got a lot to talk about, guys. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? Hey, you know, life is good. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. No doubt. Mike, what's up? Ditto. You got the ditto going on. Hey, yo, remind us the moderator. Kevin! <laughs> the moderator. Yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a uh, man, the angry one. Uh, 1 a.m. Yo, um, yo, NBA's back. Second half of the season. Uh, we got that going on. MLB lockout. Got that going on. NCAA, what we got going on with that, man? It's some we'll talk probably briefly about that. We got the what else we got? We got hey, your moderator, man. He had uh, so a lot of notes today <laughs> this week. <laughs> I was like, man, Jawan Howard was in a big one from uh, this past weekend. Uh, and we got you know. I'm not so much going to focus on this guy, uh, LeBron James, and you know him being the, the uh, general manager and the whole whole nine yards with that. Uh, you know the All Star Weekend. You know, let's go, let's go. I, Dude, what I, you I got? got? Hey, let's well, well, let's just kick it off with the NBA second yeah, half of the season. Uh, second go. half what of the season should be good, but let me let me just jump in real quick. This All Star Game fiasco. Okay. Um, and I got into it with a dude on, on TikTok that, that I respect. Um, mm -hmm. He said, yo, it was a great game. I'm like, nah, it might have been a great five, six minutes. Um, if that, I'm not, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how many minutes of dudes dunking and other dudes getting out of the way of them dunking we going to have. Like, mm -hmm. I understand it's fun. I, I, you know, like you hear the players say, yo, we just here to have fun. You know what I'm saying? But, da, da, da. but it's fun losing like it's fun not competing let me know what fun is so i know what not to be you know I, i'm not sure what i'm supposed to be doing because watching this is not fun because right. no one's guarding anyone and i'm not saying to uh uh gary payton guard anybody That's a fact. i'm saying i'm saying play some defense like have your hands up like don't run away from Giannis when he's about to dump. Like, that's the, we, we can't do that. Like, that's not competing, Mike. Nah, they need to do, like, like a street ball game, like a good street ball game. Like, you know, you play in the street, and it'd be a good battle back and forth. Yeah. Nobody gets hurt, but everybody's in each other's face. Like, I need that kind of competition. I don't want y'all to act like it's game seven, but. Yeah, yeah, but. like Make it make sense. Right, you know, right. Because pe people are paying money to be there. A lot of that. Now, now, right. like like this year, like they had a bunch of charities there, which is great. Uh, so the charities paid. They had a bunch of little kids there, and a lot of different things. So maybe for them, it's all good to see that. But you got to understand that there's also a TV audience that's like paying the advertisers. You know that I'm like, yeah, what what the fuck is this? I'm, like, right. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to watch this. And I'll go back one more. And I'm going to give the NBA because they, they suck, right? And they scared. They and I'm going to go straight up and down. You know, I'm, it's a <laughs> hip-hop joint. You know, what y'all need to do, because $1 million is not really enticing none of them dudes, right? You need nah. to put up $4 million, have five NBA dunkers, five pro dunkers, win a take all, $5 million, $6 million. Let's go. And if only two NBA dudes is down to do it and fought for other dudes, it don't matter to me. Because if it's all about the fans, then, yeah, they, they don't care if it's the air up there and he does a uh, 720. So, D.A., you're never, talking about... They've never you, seen it before. You, dunk you're contest. Talking, you're talking about the dunk contest. Okay. Dunk contest, you got the to have The dunk contest, in my opinion, that. was absolute trash. It was, oh, it was. I didn't see that bad shit. I'm it was, glad I didn't see it. It was trash. Yeah, it, it was trash. It was, it it was, was absolutely hard. trash. I mean, you got guys trying to uh, thirty-five attempts trying to make a one dunk. <laughs> Again, it's awful. Uh, awful. Well, get them cats that you see on YouTube that you don't know about. 
dude that's four foot two I'm, that's doing something crazy. He yeah. only needs one attempt. It's LeBron, yeah, so, LeBron fucked it up. Oh, I could how, how, how so? Anything. How so, Mike? Go ahead. What, what's your yeah. point? You know how Jay-Z made it cool for rappers to not answer, but they didn't understand you got to be Jay-Z to not answer? These oh. niggas not LeBron. They need to go ahead and go in the dunk contest and stop acting like him. Like, come on now. Yeah, well, you know, listen. Is there anybody in particular that you, you, you're you saying? John Morant need to be and, in there. John need to be. The way he jumped, he need to be in there. Um, but dude, uh, okay, hold and, on. If Let's... Zion was healthy, Zion need to be in there. But Some of these guys are in-game dunkers. They just, they look good but in the game I, dunking, dude. Uh, I, I hear you. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Some of these guys don't do well when just, you know, have yeah. one ball in the hand and just have to be creative. But the it's not all about is creativity, You have to be though. creative. And some of these guys are not very creative. They're just but, in game dunkers. Some yeah, of these are power to... dunkers, though. And them power dunks go over. They get scores. They too. get scores. If you yeah. power it down, like Zion could power dunk it. Like, okay. Hey, him... Look, man, the scores also. And, 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 and we got to clean up the scoring, right? Because the... everything can't be a 50. Look, cause listen, too. I, I, I'm gonna go back, yo. Two of the three years, Aaron Gordon beats that Levine. Yes, he, yeah, he and, won every and, time. They keep robbing him. And he, and dog, anytime a dude jumps over someone like he's sitting in a chair, puts it under their legs and dunks it. True. Yeah, that that was a. It's over. Like Vince, it's over. It's over. Dog, yeah. The like, mascot dog. was rotating on the hoverboard. He was man. rotating. Come on. Come on, man. These dudes are crazy. Yeah, he got jerked. He got, he jerked, got jerked definitely. So twice. It, it's hard for maybe dudes don't want to get into it because they get embarrassed. But that's why I say you got to put that money up higher so you get the NBA dudes to be like, yo, all right, this is a little bit of money. I can think right. about this. And then you can get them outside dudes. And I don't, in the NBA, if they were smart, they can run a competition all year long on the sideline in different states and different cities to have dudes compete to get ready for the all star. I did. Right, I'm talking. Come All right, on, I'm talking. We need a check for that. Anything else we say about? Yeah, this? yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry, I yeah. talk to our lawyers and stuff like <laughs> yeah, that. No doubt. That's hey, no doubt. Hey, no moving doubt. off of moving off of that all star game because it, it is what it is. Um, you know, it they did it for charity. Um, LeBron James hit the winning shot. Uh, I'm going to talk about. Segue, segue from that going into the trade. I don't know. I don't think we got a chance to really talk about the trades before the trade deadline or after the trade deadline. Uh, James Harden and uh, I was about to call him Russell Simmons, uh, Ben Simmons. Um, what do you guys think about Russell? <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think about the trade? Mike, I go with you, start with you. Uh, it's interesting. Okay. Brooklyn got some little some little important pieces and Drummond and Curry, which is real mm. underrated. Um how is Ben Simmons gonna fit? I mean, that's the big question. I mean, defensively, that's nothing. You know, that's really helping you switch, you know, on D. Him and KD and them long arms. And Ben Simmons already played good defense. But uh I'm just gonna wanna know, is he gonna be willing to shoot the ball? Is he gonna be but there's a lot of targets for him to get over too. But they just gonna he might have to play up and play center. They might have to sneak him at center for a few minutes. Yeah, he's gonna, he he definitely gonna do that. He's gonna have to. They don't got no all them bigs they got is boxes. None of them shoot. So he's gonna have to slide up and but that's Simmons KD pick and roll either way. Yeah. I, I think they're gonna do him like um Doc did and put him sliding at the four on offense, you know, like, look, bring it up and then go to the post, right? You can bring it up, but you got to go to the post. Like, you can't right. keep it at the top because you're not a threat up there. Right. So you may as well, you know, pass and go through. And you can get a dude on the post. And between you and, and KD, they should – I think they should work well because Ben Simmons actually don't need the ball. He can score right. a bunch just on fast breaks, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, he's not going to give it up on the break. Just know that. He's right. not giving it up on the break. He's always going to keep it. And he's always going to bang it. And that's fine. You know, and when he's really in his bag, he might take you off the dribble and dunk it. But that's about all you're going to get. He got jump hook. But he can play and he can help them. He do got post moves on the low. He got a little bit of post moves. 
He just yeah, don't it, go down there. Like yeah, he should. Yeah, because because Drummond ain't got none, right? He's just there to rebound. So you ain't got to worry about giving it to him. You know, mm-hmm. you ain't got to don't you ain't got to throw the ball away. Like you don't you you could turn it over throwing it to MB because he's a threat. And Drummond don't even want it. Like ah, don't, 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 Drum, you know. Drummond is straight up rebounder, man. He's gonna rebound the ball. He's gonna do what he does with with regards to the rebounding. Um, it's crazy to me. Is, back. Yeah, but his defense is terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh. I don't understand how you can rebound but can't play defense. I thought them was like cousins. They go hand in hand. Go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. insane. That's he's this become, generation of NBA people. He's mm-hmm. become real heavy footed since he's got in the league, and that means that it looks like he's gained some weight. And it sometimes that comes from lifting a lot of weights, you know, getting big, and you know. But yeah, he doesn't play defense now. If we go to the other side of the equation, that's the interesting side is the James Harden piece. Because, yo, I watched James Harden like have 20 some assists where he was the straight point guard with the Nets last year. He yeah. was diamond that thing out now. He was MVP before he got hurt last year to me. Yeah, so he what, was going crazy. If he can do that with MB, then that's going to be real serious. Because Tobias is still the third wheel. If people act like, oh, just the two of them. I'm like, yo, Tobias is average one in the 20 games. And the thing is, his points are gonna get more effective because he's not gonna have to create for himself no more. That's right. When you gotta when he gotta get you off the dribble or something, it's clunky, it's not natural. So now right. you got somebody that could dominate. All you gotta do is hit that back door. You're gonna back door you for 15 right there. Easy. They just gotta play defense and they'll be okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know if they'll be better than. You know, Milwaukee or or what? It, it's funny. I am not the hugest Milwaukee fan, but they get it done. You they know, get the job done, man. They, they get it really, done. They really coasted this year. On the on they, the low, yeah. they, they really, really like, they, will, they uh, really did, Mike. On the on the, low, the on the on the on the, on the yeah, radar. We're the five seed right now, but but not I'm not mad at that. That's Me that's where you, that's where you want to be. While they talking Lay about low. Philadelphia, <laughs> they talking about the Nets, and they talking about the. Well, we're not even really talking, and, they, and that's another thing. And I'm probably going to Boston. address it tonight. Boston has been on a hot streak, so I we can talk about Boston. Boston, you got uh, Miami, and you got uh, Chicago, and nobody's really talking about them because the attention has all has been with these the big three as far as the Nets was concerned, and now they reshift shifted their big three into another big three. They morphed, and uh, you got James Harden and um uh, and Bede over there in um Philadelphia. So it's gonna be interesting. And they got a game March tenth, um, in Philadelphia. So my my main concern is is not, oh, is he going to play? No, he bet not. I told you, D. <laughs> I told you, man. Go ahead, D. Go ahead. Let I me told know. you, we we, we not doing know. this. The and, man, and I'm, yeah, listen, the man has not, recovered. We, we don't, no, no, the, we not. We wait. are not. Do, we are not. The man we are not coming. changing this story from a dude with having some mental health shit the whole year, and he gets traded. Oh yeah, I'm good now. Like now, all I needed was some some pork fried rice. Now I'm good. Yeah, it's nah, he's not. It's, he said he's he kind of... on his boss Scott. Can't wait. Yeah, can't yeah, wait. That's can't just... wait. So you get traded, and now you. Oh well, you know. I, it's I kind of for gazy. I was going, to, I was going yeah. to psychiatrist he's the whole time. Threes and all that. Yeah, Big Ben Simmons. Look, Big I, D, he D he got a note for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> got I a got note. a note too. I got a note. I got a note too. I know a note saying you kiss. Kyle Corver is teaching him. Don't worry. Yes. Yeah, Kyle Corver right. is taking his time and, and, right. and helping the young man to get his shot down. Well, now this is what we talking about, fans. We talking about, and I'm a fan. We okay. defending the fans. Hey, do does everyone believe this? Is this what? Don't I can't get the answer this way because you can't tell me. Maybe you can put it on YouTube. But does mm-hmm. everybody believe that a dude that's been out with a uh, they say mental issues, right? You got so support allegedly. That's real though. You say that that's real. So that's as real as a broken leg. Mm-hmm. So if a dude broke their leg and was in crutches and a cast all year and gets traded and can play the next week. Doesn't that yeah. sound suspicious? <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't that suspicious? Yeah, I mean, James Harden, yeah. hand, James Harden, hamstring don't hurt no more. 
And this is why the and this is why the NBA is going to have a problem when it's when it's come time to uh, negotiation and uh, lockout. T- you know, let's say just say they you know the the oh, PA. Oh, there's going to be a lockout. There's going to be a lockout. I'm just saying they they need to expect that because this is it's a lot of stuff. And Adam Silver has touched on it a little bit about guys forcing their way somehow. You know trying to get out the well, team situation it's but 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 to that end mm-hmm. that's on the owners that's the owner's fault because if you let one do it you let the others do it you, let the, yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's just like we say with and I'll, I'll segue real quick like we talk about with football and baseball and and right so football has a hard salary cap there's really nothing you can do baseball and basketball say they have a salary cap but they can go over the cap whenever they deem it necessary to go under the, over the cap and pay a tax. Right. That's your issue. So now when the players are like, yo, dog, what you mean you can't pay me? You can play me. You can pay me. All you got to do is pay that luxury tax. That's on you. Right. Don't you think Bryce Harper cares? The dog, give my $300 million guarantee. Give me right, that that's, money, what we, that's what we signed on for. All right? Mm-hmm. Stop playing these games. This mm-hmm. is what it is. All right? That's that. Right. So what had to happen is someone that was a responsible adult has to look at the roster in Philadelphia and say, oh, I can't afford to give this man thirty million dollars a year uh, hitting two twenty five. I can't I can't I'm sorry. I can't I can't do that. I, I, I just can't do that because there are teams in Major League Baseball that win every year that are underneath the salary cap. Now, if it was if it was no team, the only way you could win was to be over the salary cap and be paying the luxury tax. Then yeah, but that's not the truth because mm-hmm. we had Kansas City in there in the World Series two three years ago. Remember, Houston was getting paid dimes up until two years ago when they had to start reing up their contracts. So come on, man, stop playing. But wait a minute, hold Again, on. Back to go ahead. What are you gonna say again? So, so stop. That's what I'm saying. Stop playing. So, with the with, with the NBA, yo, you let these dudes out their contract. You didn't have to do that with James Harden. You can say, Yo, dog, you can be unhappy as you want. You with Jay that's gonna be unhappy here because <laughs> guess what happened? They, for some reason, and and dude. Based on what I've and we we are not insiders, right? We're fans, so I don't know anything extra. Right. They said John Wall has done everything that Houston has asked him to do, and they're still paying him to be in Raleigh. All right. So, with that being said, you don't have to let the dude go. He didn't come in there with his goons on some Suge Knight shit like, oh, oh yo. You let my man go, or we gonna kill your peoples. He no, should. didn't happen. It don't right. happen. Free John Wall. Yeah, I mean, shoot, the Lakers should have made that move, but guess what? They but should've. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get back. Let's get back I to did it. The, I'm sorry, sorry, D. Back to Ben Simmons, though. This guy, mental health is very serious. I don't right? that And the man said that. Regardless, whether you believe it or not, he said he has mental health. But it does look kind of fugazi, though, when you say you have an issue and you kind of. And for my my people, my advocates for that mental mental health advocates, it kind of makes it look bad when you say this and you just said said it just so you can get out of a situation of playing in a city. Yo, you need to cancel them. How about that? And I am, a, I am, and the dudes on the on the podcast will tell you, I'm the biggest Ben Simmons fan. He plays defense. He doesn't need to shoot a three. He was scoring 25 points a game, six assists, and eight rebounds without shooting a three. Dog, he's a bona fide star. But if this is the way we playing, they need to cancel him. So what you're saying so, is Ben Simmons needs to sit down. That's what. That's where your stance is. Yeah, yeah. I think he. I don't think he's better. I, I just don't believe he's better. I mean, Michael, this is a. What do you? What is your thought about Ben Simmons' mental health? I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts on Ben Simmons 
mental health because it's a slippery slope and you can't prove it one way or the or other. So it's like so, a, back, a back injury, huh? You yes. just gotta, you just gotta ride. My back hurt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. okay, I got you. you know I mean? So he says he he's ready to play. You, do you believe that he's ready to play all of a sudden with the Nets? If he say he ready to play, let's see. But when he get out there and realize it ain't rainbows and butterflies, he'll figure it out. But we'll would see. you have a problem with him saying that on March tenth? That he doesn't want to go to Philadelphia and play against Philadelphia. If he said that, yeah. after saying that he's ready to play, if he says he's ready to play, and then no, say after say to- after he getting traded and all this stuff, everything hasn't went down, and now he doesn't want to. He seems well, like he's look, is he scared of the Philadelphia? If fans I was or- the coach, you would have to play a couple games before Philly before you even play that Philly because okay. your first game back wouldn't be Philly because now you're taking the attention away from the team, you putting it on you. Oh, okay. this is a turn to Philly when this is just a regular season game that win or lose, we could make back when everybody's healthy. So, like, you're doing too much. So that's where I would look at it. If he's healthy, play a game or two before Philly. We go to Philly, it's whatever. But if you say you're not, but it, but don't say you're ready, and then you get to Philly after three games, oh, no, no, no. That's my thing, dog. Like, I, I just yeah. can't – I can't – he can't have no demands, man. He just has to be, he has to be, in my eyes, the perfect Boy Scout citizen. Do whatever a member of this team. team. Right. Yeah, he has to do whatever is asked of a man because the reality is that no one is uh, making him do anything. He's He he used that get out of jail free card. Cool. And he, he's going to rock with it until he doesn't need to. And everyone who's behind this if this is some BS, man, yo, dog, that that that, man, I, I I lack of respect. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So I'm done with it. I got no more. Hey, time. I, you know what I'm saying? guys, I got a couple more things before this NBA stuff. I'm not. I'm. Uh, this is gonna be my last, probably my last time talking about this team, the LA Lakers. Anthony Davis hurt four weeks out. Four weeks, I believe. Uh, Mid spring ankle. I thought he totally had broke it. The reports at first were said he he might have broke it, but um, um, y'all thoughts on the Lakers? Um, uh, first of all, a couple of things. Thoughts on the Lakers? Anthony Davis, LeBron James being the the GM, and then when things is going wrong, he doesn't want to be the GM and wants to blame Rob Palenka. Nobody's talking about that. Um. What are you guys? Anything, um, Michael? I'm gonna you, Go ahead, you get out of here. Go ahead. Street clothes, street clothes, street clothes, <laughs> street clothes. Man, Anthony Davis needs to drink some milk or uh-huh. work on them legs or something because this is crazy. But I mean, uh, you, yeah, the Lakers knew what it took. You knew what happens when you sign LeBron James, or when LeBron James chooses you. So you know what happens, and now you got to go with it. Hmm. You know what I mean? So See, I can't I can't go with that, Mike. But I mean, I don't agree with it. I'm at I mean, if we discussing what's going on, that's what's going yeah. on. But do yes, I sir. agree with it? Hell no, because what, what that's I, what I got I, a job for, you got a job for. Indeed. You do yours, I do mine. But okay. they knew what happens, and now they stuck with doing what, what, what happens. Okay, so, uh, let me get your thoughts quickly. Uh LeBron James and his uh being the GM, and nobody's calling him out and not. Everybody acting like that he had nothing to do with nothing. LeBron need to be a better GM and stop getting all these old people because he got old people in, in, in Miami to come help. And he got old people to come help in Cleveland. LeBron be a better GM and stop getting these old people and take some time to develop somebody to help you. Okay. All right. Rich. <laughs> you Rich, get old dude. people. You get Richard Jefferson and Channing Frye. And everybody thought they was like a great supporting cat. Like, come on now. Hey, LeBron um, be fooling y'all, man. He be running around waving his arm. <laughs> hey man, I'm I'm tired of talking about the dude. I told I told people this that this guy's playing a different game than everybody else. It's about him and him alone. And he's just, you know, now that he signed these guys and they're not performing, or you know, they didn't uh what Russell Westbrook is not what he, they thought he's he was supposed to be. <laughs> I think we said this on the show beforehand that we already knew that that wasn't going to be a good signing. But, you know, what do we know? 
Um, you know, this the Lakers are in the I think believe ninth ninth, ninth spot place. ninth place in the West. Yeah. And uh, I, again, I'm I'm through talking about them because guess who got the guess who's better? I mean, you got you still got the Clippers. The Timberwolves need to be getting love. The Nuggets should be getting love because they've been consistent the last couple of years. Um, yo, Tim I don't know why we were talking about a ninth place team right now because they got LeBron James. Oh, quick question: They got the playing Miami. game. Yes, yeah, and that's another thing. You correct, and Mike. Would you trade LeBron James? Because I've seen this out, and I'm like, what team would what team Ooh. would be so as stupid to get a 38 year old player? Go ahead, Mike. Would you Ooh, trade? Who's gonna give me? James? Okay, LeBron James mathematically breaks science, right? So mm-hmm. nobody knows when the wheels are actually gonna fall off because he's still averaging like 27, seven and seven. Like mm-hmm. we, we said that by Kobe, right? But go ahead. Crazy. You never know. When, Cause, but then look when the wheels fell off. Kobe was up there mm. chucking him. He was looking bad. Mm. But so you don't know when the wheels are really going to fall over LeBron. And they gave him so, a bag. So what are you going to trade that's absolutely going to equal that value? There's nobody his age, range, nothing. You had to give up a young superstar. That's basically breaking your core. So mm. there's nothing that you could trade for LeBron James that would make sense. What, 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 uh, uh, away. And a team that wants, he wants to play with his son, Bronny. What say you? Uh, that's what's up. He put it out there, and his contract expires in time. So I don't see nothing wrong with what he said. No, no, absolutely. That just okay. give you an opportunity. I'm letting y'all know. Listen, but it might do, be here, it might be there. Wherever Brody it, go, I go. If you're a team, if you're owner of a team, would you make that happen for him? A 38 year old player, just because he's he won't be 38, and, then he'll be 40. He'll be, he'll be 500, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be forty-one. Do, actually, do you disrupt your team and mess it up, and you get? Do you give him a bag? That's what yeah. happened. No, I you gotta pay he, for cigarettes. So. Right, you gotta pay for ham sandwiches and other yeah. rec materials. Like there's well, no he way. Didn't say, <laughs> he didn't. He didn't care what type of money he's getting paid. He he, he just he, wanted he to play with not. his son. Oh, I'm glad you don't, because you're yeah. getting cigarettes and chicken wings, man. <laughs> right. Okay, thank you, Mike. Da, yeah, the watch is great. What what say you? Are you agree with most of the stuff Mike said as far as the the Lakers? Yeah, I think the and Lakers they, are bad. We knew they were going to be bad. We knew yeah. that from a that Westbrook and LeBron weren't going to fit because they both need the ball in their hands, so it Correct. wasn't going to work, right? Correct. Uh, I, I I I what Mike said. I heard today from Nick Wright, um, and I think we can't let them flip this script on us like it's just Bronny being Bron. This mm-hmm. is what he is because the point I was making with this guys, and I, I don't have nothing against the man, but if you're telling me that two years ago when they won the chip in the bubble, he was the orchestrator, and now you're telling me he wasn't, now he's not the orchestrator, then something's wrong. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, so now what they're saying is, okay, he, he is the orchestrator, but this is just how he gets down because he's just Bronny being Bronny. And I heard, yo, well, Rob Palenka got to be the GM because he was Kobe's agent. Mm-hmm. So Rich Paul thought that he could be the GM because he's LeBron's agent. He said, why wouldn't he? And I said, okay, then you are furthering the cause the same that you orchestrated this bullshit. That you, you did. And you can't say you didn't. And then you can't say you are mad at the Lakers for not making a move at the trading deadline because yo, know, Russell Westbrook's contract is too big. You mm-hmm. got to get two dudes for that dude, man. And no one's giving that up right now. And you have to get an assurance from him that he's going to re-sign with the team. And he's not going to give you that. So who's trading? Nobody. You took on that bad contract. Yes. You, your orchestrated it and you said it. You and AD wanted this and you did it. Well, you knew that was a bad contract. He still got two years left and like forty million a year. You took it, and now you want to say you mad at Rob Palenka because no one else in the league wants to take it? Oh, stop, stop! Come on, man, come on, man. That, that man, listen, man. That that that's that ain't gonna happen. That don't even make no sense. That don't make no sense. No, you can't be mad at Rob Palenka. They was trying to get a uh, uh, uh John Wall, 
say he's going to give him John Wall in the, uh, a, a draft pick. And they said, no, they want John Wall and Eric Gordon. And he's like, no, that's too much for that bum. Mm-hmm. I'm giving <laughs> you a ball handler and a dude that can shoot for a dude that can handle that can't shoot. No, nah, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm good. And what, and what, in what galaxy does that make sense? No, no I'm done man. with the Lakers, man. God bless yeah. you. Yeah. And you know, Gordon. yeah, yeah, definitely. And like I said, I'm the, the Lakers are getting a lot of shine because of the, the Lakers. Lakers one, two, they got this guy, LeBron James and you know, here I am, I'm looking and we should be talking about the Memphis Grizzlies. We should be talking about uh, teams like okay. uh, the Cleveland Cla- Cavaliers. It happened in this year though, don't worry. Oh yeah, worry about that. I mean, and um, you know, I think we, we, we spend and focus so much time because if this was the other way around, we're not talking about the Cleveland Cla- Cavaliers as, as bad as they've been, we're not talking about them. So, you know, uh, I just want to give us some, you know, give some love to these guys because um, we need to start changing the narrative and focusing on, on a, on a new up and coming talent that's doing really well. And um, you know, that's what I got to say with, with that. Hey, I'm going to segue into um, NFL, the NFL, uh, Mr. Flores, he got a job with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, that kind of got, you know, snuck in there underneath the rug a little bit. Nobody really talked about, about it. I don't know if that, what do you consider that, uh, DA? Is that a demotion or do you consider just no, getting cool, the cause back lawsuit, and forth? The lawsuit's still out there. Like, he, mm-hmm. he didn't drop the suit, so mm-hmm. uh, he good. Because he's going to get money in the lawsuit. I think I was talking to a dude when I was up, up top last weekend as a lawyer, and he was like, yeah, he might have put too many things in there. And he, if he attacked them one by one, it'd be a lot easier. But mm-hmm. I still think that that uh, uh, what's that? Buff what was it? Uh, what team was the Giants thing? Is that's that's a uh, oh, which, um, the that's a slam yes. dunk. That's a mm-hmm. slam dunk. So that one there is just a, as he said, that's a time and materials thing where you know it really can't lose on that one. So. Uh, but yeah, he'll be all right. And, and Tomlin gave him a job, and then linebacker core is gonna be serious because the mm-hmm. dude can coach, you know. Right. So um, they got to still find a quarterback in Pittsburgh, but yeah, they'll they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Mike, what you got? Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, I mean, he still got the lawsuit, so that's like Da said, he's gonna win some money because regardless if they prove anything or not, this is enough to ruffle a lot of feathers, and it sounds like it makes sense. So right. it's about to cause them a lot of issues. I mean, I hate the Steelers, so boo. But I mean, at least he got a job. At least the man working. But he could have at least got a, a coordinated job. Like, I really feel like what is going on? Like the NFL really. They just showing you who they are. Right, 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 right. Like you can't talk about Kansas City offense and they coach still ain't got no job, neither. Yeah. Like it's like, come on. So. Yeah, or see how it goes with them is when 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 their offense do, does good, it's it's Andy Reid that's doing yeah. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's it's not the enemy, or it's it's uh no risk it no biscuit. It's not it's not um what you call him um what's my man from Marshall uh Leffitt. They're not saying it's him. You know, it was Tom Brady and and uh, no risk it, no biscuit, dude. You know what I'm saying? No risk it, they always no find a way. To, they always try to find a way to not give the credit to the brother that's there actually working with the quarterback or making this thing happen. So, you know, and they continue to do it, and we continue to let them do it. So, you know, because the enemy still ain't got a job. Uh, uh, speaking of the enemy, I thought I read today that he is resigning with Kansas City. Yeah, his contract was up. So yeah, so he will be back with Kansas City. I, I believe uh, another uh, four more years. I believe if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I'm yeah, wrong. well, that's fine. Yeah, you know, so it's not a bad thing. So so he'll not a he'll, bad thing at all. He'll definitely be back. And uh, speaking of uh, contracts, on uh, Roger Goodell gets four more years. Woo! With the, with the NFL, any any thoughts on that one? He yeah. is the shield. Do say he like he protects the shield. He don't protect the shield. 
He gets paid that money because he is the shield mm-hmm. for the NFL. He's the one that shields the owners from a lot of stuff. You know, Roger Goodell doesn't protect the shield. He is the shield. And anybody to tell you anything else is not looking at this realistically. He's the dude that protects the NFL. He lets things bounce off his back. He'll take all the hits. You know, he does all that for that $50 million, and he does make $50 million a year. Um, I, I don't even know what a paycheck – I don't even know what the fuck is two weeks what that looks like. You know, <laughs> God damn. You know, so – uh, what's that? Twenty four checks a year. I mean, do my math, but um, he, yeah, he doesn't protect the shield. He is the shield. He protects mm. everybody else. So that's his job, and he does a good job. Does yeah. a great job. So you know, yeah, ain't nothing else you can do about it, man. He's doing his thing. You know, Mike. What on Goodell? Um, yeah, Mr. Goodell. I mean, what DA says, what it is, he is the shield. He does and manage his power when he feel need be. Do I agree with his decisions? Hell no. I feel like he's a little, little, I'm not gonna say the word, but uh I well, he just, gets paid two million eighty-three dollars eighty-three what two million eighty-three thousand three hundred and thirty-three dollars. Every two weeks. Mm. See, that's, yeah, see, I would be the shield for that price too. Yes. But he's exactly the shield. If it comes to the owners and the league's interest, he's on it. Well, he that's what he does, man. That's that's his thing. Exactly so, you know, he, does. he he's definitely he's not a player definitely guy. doing his doing his definitely job. For the owners. Yeah, so you know, that's what hey uh speaking of that, um uh, another thing came up today. Uh, um Early, I think it was last night, Tuesday, going into Wednesday. Uh, Troy Aikman ne- nearing a deal with ESPN to be the lead analyst for Monday Night Football. Uh, I was kind of shocked that Fox would let this guy go because Troy Troy Aikman, as a you know, as a quarterback, he was you know, I thought he was you know he was a good quarterback. He had a great team around him, but as as he left football and went into broadcasting, I. I um, I think he uh, he's done a fantastic job. Yes, as a, as a uh, color uh, color broadcast, play by play, whatever you want to call him. But um, you know, I'm I was really shocked that they they was willing to let him go, and he and but it might be for the best because if he ends up on ESPN Monday night Monday night football, which has been they've been looking for somebody to anchor that seat. And uh, call the game for a Monday night for a long time, and then they went through their progressions of trying to find somebody um, because that that well that last one the last one before this one that Booker McFarlane and um, who else they had that was that was, that was god awful and uh, y'all guys ain't got any thoughts on that one? Hey, good move, man. You know, like I said, football players don't make a ton of money in their careers. Um, and, and though you would say relatively that that Troy Aikman did, um, it's about getting that paper when you can get that paper. Um, and I actually think his man, his partner, will, will probably come with him because a buck can get a lot of baseball on ESPN and get that money because he's good at that too, you know. Yeah. But um, I think Buck is staying put. He's yeah, he, he's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's the staying big time put. Dude there. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to hear. It's gonna be weird to hear them apart it's a fact yeah but then 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 they saying that they might be a aikman and um mcmichael's uh uh michaels uh, al michaels uh excuse me Al uh, michaels leaving nbc uh, uh, nbc and going to espn with possible that's that's a that's a possible but see that's a that's... sunday team though be that well you know what because remember monday night games are scheduled three years in advance so you're talking about you're gonna have at least two or three years of what they thought were going to be good games and they're going to be mm-hmm. god-awful Monday night games. Mm-hmm. You know, because three years ago, they might have thought, you know, oh, the Raiders and da-da-da are going to be good. And now it's like, ooh, not so much. And Still shout out to my man, that. Steve you know, so the Raiders, The Raiders in Seattle, and, you know, yeah. Russell's gone and the Raiders aren't that good. 
Then you got, you know, Troy and Al Michaels. You pay them a lot of money to do that game, but they don't do get the Glover's Time game. game. But yeah, eight Al, minutes, Al, I like Michael, both of them together. Al, Al Michaels' contract expired after the Super Bowl this year. So he said he's not going to retire. So uh, ESPN might be trying to, to lure, lure him over to uh, the ESPN Monday night spot. So that would be a pretty, uh, a pretty good call. Michaels and uh, he ain't doing no extra shit though. He ain't doing no extra shit. He don't do no extra shit. All those shows beforehand, yeah, I, I, I ain't doing that shit. I just need to be doing the game. <laughs> I don't do that extra shit. I yeah, don't, I don't go- do that now. Nah. ESPN nah. ain't had a good Monday night team ever. Like they just, they just. Well, since well, you know, after Gruden, you, you, you Gruden is good. Yeah, Gruden was actually not bad. He wasn't great. But- well, shout out to Steve Levy. Steve Levy's not bad either. I like Steve Levy. Um, he, you know, he calls a pretty good game with the, the this crew is not that bad. They're not no, they're that not. bad. They're not. You know but you know, they're not good neither. Like they're not. They're not. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, yeah. yeah I, they're gonna I, have I to give, figure out something. To you. Though. Yeah, they're gonna, but, they're gonna have to figure out something. But Aikman is definitely. But Aikman would definitely pull that. Pull that together. I, I wish Cornhouse would have never stopped doing it. They should have kept him up there. But he oh, he was like for travel, man, but he don't like traveling. Yeah, yeah. he Cornhouse was perfect up there. I don't know why. He don't take the planes. He's like uh, John Mack. He don't take he the planes. Got, he gotta get over that, man. Like, come on, man. Just yeah, some of these you. guys, man. They they definitely we need don't, you. They don't like that uh plane plane thing. So you know, uh, yeah, Boston I, is beating Brooklyn fifty-one to thirty right now. Oh, well, you know, hey. Yeah. Man. Yeah, what, what do you say, man? This is the, you, you can't say, oh, well, you know, it's still early. This is the second half, man. So in Brooklyn, y'all looking up. Y'all at the AC right Don't now. Don't worry. They about to get rid of that mask, man. They, Kyrie about to be full time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> KG yeah, coming yeah, back. Yeah, New York, New York. You know what we do? We don't care. I was just up there and I tell you all they no break cares. the rules. Yeah, yeah, no one cares about COVID. No, yeah, they, man. Yeah, they all right, guys. New York City. All right, Mike, Mike. All right, Mike. Mike. All right, man. Yo. Out, be easy. All right, no Saturday. Saturday. Every day is Saturday. Every day. No, no, no doubt. doubt. Peace. We'll see you next week. Yeah, D. Um, yeah, New yo. York ain't no COVID, man. Yeah, well, you know, I, this is... To, we could do another show about that. That's that's how crazy it is. So, you know, um, hey, segue to uh, MLB. MLB still still out uh, as far as uh, they still in talks. Uh, I believe yeah. they they will be talking. Um, they had four straight days, fourth straight day of talks with the M, uh, the players association and the owners. So you know. They're making tweaks um, to the um, the seven lottery picks that the Player Association wants, and service time for players um, in the minor leagues, which, which is which is fewer. They want to have fewer players uh, mm-hmm. than before, and, and kind of narrowing that down. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, money. You know, so well, yeah, yeah, that money. Yeah, so ten thousand dollars for the minimum salary proposal. Um, or I think they offered about six hundred and fifty thousand dollars, six hundred forty thousand dollars a year, uh, with ten thousand dollars raises each year. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, that's what MLB wants, and the ML uh, Players Association is seeking seven hundred seventy-five thousand uh, with thirty-year raises each year. So we're talking about a difference of twenty thousand dollars a year in raises uh, for minimum players, minimum players, and mm-hmm. about. Uh, maybe a, almost one hundred and thirty thousand uh, dollars with the base salary, the minimum salary. Um, so, you know, and, and arbitration players, they want to put the money in the pool um, to to divvy that up. And I, I, that's I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, the draft lottery is an issue, um, but I think they'll probably get that one fixed before they get everything else fixed. Uh, I okay. think that's kind of low hanging fruit. Um, but, um, MLB can, can lift this lockout at any time. So, you know, I don't know if they have to get everything squared away before they, you know, lift the lockout. But I, I, you know, 
I think that minimum salary is is a sticking point. So they're going to have to figure out because that seems to be the largest uh, gap between the MLB and the MLB PA. So mm -hmm. um, is the minimum um, salary and the raises each well, year. Well, they are set to meet again tomorrow. So hopefully maybe something might come out of this. Uh, right now they, they have pushed it back as far as spring training. I think they said to March 5th. Yeah. I'm not I, mistaken. So, um, that's, which is right around the corner here. So, uh, uh, hopefully they'll get this stuff, uh, taken care of, um, where we could get some baseball and get some of, some of this, uh, some of this, uh, sports back as far as baseball is concerned, get it back in and back and running and, and schedule. Hey man, I got one more thing that um I meant to I skipped over. I was supposed to talk about right after the NBA. Uh Jawan Howard. Um he had an incident on, uh, was, uh, he, he, he on Saturday. And uh and I think he uh what'd you what what would you say? He let the his uh yeah, his emotions just, that's uh, it. It, it that was take it. over it a little bit yeah uh, it's not, I, i've it, heard everything from he should be fired he yeah you know what be, you uh, know those are, those are people that never, those are people that never be. played anything or did anything you know what i mean like yeah. you know you got some coaches that talk some stuff about that but the reality is this man when you play a sport and it's a physical sport sometimes things get physical because that's where you feel about it and when you feel disrespected and you feel like your kids are being disrespected and you're being toyed with, you know, you may lash out physically at someone. I can't tell you what, what was said exactly, um, but I, it looked like they were breaking up and walking away and then things kind of escalated. So somebody said something else. And that's what yeah. usually happens. So it's like, all right, then I F you, all F right. you, and you walk away and then someone says what something you else. What? There you go. Yeah. 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 Now, now we back huh? at it. Yeah. yeah and that, that's that's right. gonna get you hurt. Is that yeah. next thing that you that said? Next, that next, that next slick stuff that come yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. gonna get you hurt, right? Yeah. And, you know, and and you know, I, 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 the rest of the season is is about right because he is the leader and he should be able to, um, keep his head. But man, I'm gonna tell you, man, I'm I'm old, mm -hmm. and I've seen. John Cheney threatened John Calipari's life. And he said, man, I'll fucking kill you. Hmm. And John Cheney was not suspended a game. <laughs> he told Calipari, man, if I see you, I'm going to kill you. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So, you know, it, sometimes things are a little bit too. Hey, um, did you PC? But hey, this is what it is. It, during his press conference did you see him um let, let, let's, let's set it up for people who don't know Jawan howard coaches uh michigan he yeah. and was playing what was the fab five played for washington oh they played wisconsin wisconsin they played wisconsin and there's some issue about a timeout Jawan was yeah. not mr howard was not it was winning. Through. Wisconsin was winning by a lot. Yeah, Wisconsin and was the game them was out. about over, and mm -hmm. the guy called a timeout. Timeout, with like four seconds left, and yeah. I don't know why. His his thing was to try to stop a play yeah. or something. I wasn't sure exactly why. And Juan was like, "Why? Why are you stopping the play? Right? We're, we're losing. We're not going to win this game. Mm -hmm. You're up by twenty. It's two seconds left or three seconds left. Now." So in my eyes, Juwan, yo, man, you know, put on your big boy pants. You lost the game. Man, if you wasn't losing, you wouldn't have that problem. Mm -hmm. That's it. Chalk it up next time. Y'all beat the crap out of me. Yeah. That's all. No, no, you know, but again, you know, I that part of oh, it, I guess. Gee, I, there was, a, there was another thing. Oh, get rid of the handshakes after college. I said. Really? That's what we're doing now? So because yeah, yeah, we because had an issue, yeah, we want to get... Give... Yeah. yeah. I said, come on, man. Stop. You know, we react too much in this country. We, we're we reactionary. No one just wants to solve the problem. No. You know, so, oh, 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 well, my kid's not as good as the other kids. 
So we give them all trophies. Nah, man, your kid's just not as good as the other kids. How about that? We're not giving them all trophies. Tell your kid to practice harder. So, so then they said, so Greg God touched him. So then, okay. I mean, Joe, I could say Jawan Howard had his hand, his finger in his face. Yeah, you he did. Put your, you put your finger in my face. Now that's a problem. Yeah, and, and you know, Jawan did that because he's a six foot ten dude, and he he, he towers you know, over great guard. Yeah, he great guard. He yeah, do that. you know, because if it was another six ten dude, it would have been on like Donkey Kong from the yeah, beginning. Yeah, they were scrapping for real. Yeah, so absolutely. You know, like I said, I'm not saying Jawan's a chump or anything. He was just mad. No, that's what it was. Hey, that's you know, what it was. Again, but hey, the reality is the reality, man. Mm-hmm. Listen. If you win in the game or you're not losing by that much, you don't have that problem. Yeah. And and just so. my my personal, you know, Jawan, yo, the five games is fine. I'm I'm cool with that. All the other stuff people was talking about is crazy. Shut up. Um oh, no. And we you know, five games nobody. good. We're not going, yeah, we're not going. Oh, we're going now. Yes, Jawan has a responsibility to the kids to uh, to be, you know. He's held yeah, in a yeah, different yeah, light, yeah, different yeah, level, yeah, yeah, yeah. higher yeah. standard, whatever the yeah, case is, yeah, all yeah, that yeah. good stuff. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, there's everybody... a time that people have a a moment and it's man, not yeah. that good. Listen, man. He, anybody... He's human. He's human. Yeah. And you know what, man? I'm tired of hearing people talk all that stupid shit mm. until their husband's out there at their son's game, cursing at another little kid. Oh, the whole... oh. <laughs> Man, yes. Stop it. it that, that's the same people we talking about. Yes. You know, the same people we talking about is the ones they get out to a game and, and they lose themselves. And then when they run up against somebody that's a parent, that's like, what what you say about my son? Mm-hmm. And it, Absolutely. It, and I've seen it all colors, all of it. I've seen it go down in all sports, with all colors. I've seen it go down. You know, so, you know, listen, man, you, if, if you're not ready for that smoke, just shut up, mm-hmm. you know, and let, you know, sometimes these things are going to happen, but it's called life and life is a physical sport. It is, it is a contact sport. This life we live. That's all I said. It's a contact sport. And then you're going to run into some people that live a very physical and violent life. And they deal with things in a violent manner, not because they're bad people, but because they deal with life in a violent manner. Mm-hmm. Like you, you're a police officer. Your brother, police. Hey, you deal with things with your mind, but you are paid to go zero to a hundred, real quick. <laughs> so the reality is that there are individuals out there that go zero to a hundred, and you know, listen, I'm sorry, y'all got to, you got to deal with it. You got to deal it with really zero is. to one hundred, you know, and that's all. But um, you know, it's all good. It's all good, man. You know. Hey, so, uh, you know, as as we segue from Jawan Howard, um, uh, NCAA uh, March Madness is coming up shortly, soon here. Oh, shoot, we let the we let Mike go. Mike should we right, yeah, that for, yeah. I, I, I will have to be. I gotta be honest. I because really ain't watching it right now. Hey, so. fan, hey, people! I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah, I'm not I have no that. idea because the the this college basketball. It's not the college basketball of old. Things have changed, as you know. Yeah. It's yeah. just not the same. The game is this, the game, but just the way they do things is just not. You know, I, I I can't even tell you what what's going on, who who's what. But that's what the youngin in charge was supposed to um give to y'all tonight. But he had to cut cut off early. Hey man, yo, what Bless. is your USFL? Did I this caught me off guard because I had no idea that they were starting. I knew about the XFL, and I thought that was starting this year, but that's not starting till twenty twenty three next year. But they got this USFL. Do you know? Yeah. Or have you heard? I, I see Jeff Fisher yeah, as a coach. Yeah, that's saw the, the commercial. I, I, yeah, I saw the commercial. I, that's a good thing, man. Because and is this going to be a uh, spring? I think. The spring, yeah, they got to play in the spring. I know they can't play. Spring and is time this, the... yeah, is this going to be a like a audition for guys to come over to the NFL? Yeah, I hope it is. Mm-hmm. I hope it is because you need that. You got a lot of guys, you know, 
It's not like basketball, man, where guys can play overseas and they can play here and they can play there. Once your college career is over, if you don't make it in the NFL immediately, a lot of guys will never make it, you know. Or, you know, I know some kids that play with my son. They stuck around for a little while and, you know, got practice squad here and there and, you know, started coaching and stayed in shape just in case they can get a tryout, you know, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, you need to play, you know, and without that, it's kind of hard to make it two, three years out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You become, you know, you get into, like I said, one of them physical jobs. You're a fireman, a policeman. You know, you get into those things because, you know, you still need to have the physical activity, but um, you're not playing anymore. So, um, yeah, I, I've watched that happen a lot, and I, I think that this is great. And that's why I was upset when the World League kind of shut World down yes. because I thought it was a good place. And it, it worked. You got a Hall of Fame. You got a uh, Kurt Warner mm-hmm. uh, was on the World League team. So, I mean, you know, that's why I kind of was like, uh, why'd you shut it down? But you got to have a place for these dudes to play. Got to. Got yeah, to, to develop the talent, man, because, I mean, this is what you keep on going through the years of, you know, you don't – some of these guys just need development. And yeah, there's not and enough time in, in the NFL and college to do so. Right. So why not have another league? that could do that. And I think that's what the XFL and and kudos to the XFL, NFL joining and trying to, you know, they said that they will be doing some type of Petri dish type yeah. of uh, experiment to, for rules and regulations. And they'll be- Hey, support them. Out. Absolutely. Yeah, support them. But hey, you know, one more thing real we'll quick before we go, man. Yeah. Um, And we was talking about this earlier. You don't have to jump in on this, please don't, if you don't want to. Yeah, go ahead. I, I got a problem with, with um, and again, it's not LeBron James as much as his people. Like, they start these arguments for no damn reason. Like, Michael Jordan's not bothering you, and it's not like Michael Jordan's talking about you. Let, let's talk about but, it. Man. But but you got this dude saying, well, yo, LeBron had it harder than Michael. Oh, if, you, right? if people don't right? know what we're talking about, that's uh, his his main man, uh, Rich Paul. Yeah, Rich Paul. Okay. Told the athletic uh, for a number of reasons uh, that you know, for some reason, he thinks that you know, LeBron's life and growing up as a kid was harder than Michael's. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what LeBron had to go through was harder than what Michael Jordan had to go through. One, why are you, you, comparing your friend's life to another person's life? There you go. Rather than your life to someone's life. Like, your dog, you don't speak for LeBron James. I know in contract negotiations you do, but how are you going to say his life was harder than another man's life? You don't know everything that went on in Michael Jordan's life. No. In our era, everything that we did didn't come out. You didn't know him growing up in Wilmington, you know, racist guys being chased by white guys, or you don't know anything that that he might have went through. Got cut, had pimples, couldn't get girls, mm-hmm. whatever. What you know, had leaks in the house. Blah blah blah. Yeah, you don't know, right? And and you don't. yes, LeBron went through whatever he went through. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. Why are we, what, what are we doing here? Yeah. Doug, this is basketball. Let's talk about what happens in between the lines. 100%. What, what their lives, what, what? His life was better than his, was worse than, huh? okay, so say it was. Mm-hmm. What does that have to do with, so that makes it him the great, the GOAT? Well, shoot, well, those hard times, should have had his ass win some more championships. And then he'd be the GOAT. And he'd be the GOAT. But evidently he did. Right? So I don't know LeBron James. I know the first time I heard of LeBron James, he was 14 years old. He was playing with the Oakland Soldiers. Oakland Soldiers. Mm-hmm. Not Oakland, Ohio. Oakland Soldiers. Which to me was like, damn, dog, who's this kid out in California? So evidently somebody was helping. 
Like it wasn't always him that's out there by himself. Mm-hmm. Where you go, you know, and I'm not saying that's good, bad, or indifferent. I don't know what happened in between. But the reality is super real being, and I'm gonna let it go on this. I don't care for either one of them. I do not care either no. way. But what I'm yeah. not doing is I can't let you come out and say this because it's stupid. Right. You know, and and, and I don't I don't know you, um, Rich Paul or uh, 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 Paul. Um, yeah, I don't know you, and I'm I'm sure you're rich and you're smart, man. And I don't want to. I'm not disrespecting you, but I just don't understand why you would say that. You know, I heard once a guy said, "Well, hey, LeBron had it. It was harder for LeBron to get there than it was for Steph Curry." I'm like, no, it's actually opposite. It's, it's very easy for dudes that don't have anything to go hard. It's very hard when you're very when you're rich to go hard. Right. You don't have to go hard. Like Steph Curry never never played basketball and could have been a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Doctor. His parents are gonna make sure he was all right. Now, the LeBrons, us, the poor kids. Yeah, we got to go hard. Got to. We got to go hard. We, that's, that's, we got nothing else. Now, our kids, you can see in our kids that they spoil. They don't do things the way we did things. Why? Because they have. My kids grow up in a house. I grew up in the projects. Mm-hmm. New York City projects. Tenement buildings. You know, so the reality is it's different. Concrete jungle. It's different. 100%. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, man. And, and D, what you think about that, man? I'm sorry, I didn't want to go. No, nah, no, 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 yeah. Because I, I was thinking of some along the lines of you, as far as why are we comparing about this, like why would your like your life is so much harder, man? Dog, you're a millionaire. We are a millionaire. A guy that plays basketball. Yeah. Basketball, man, and it, it and it bothers them so much because then the comparison should never. It, it, first of all, the comparison should never been between him and Michael Jordan. Okay, and that's why he's burnt out. That's why yeah. he's keep on chasing. You talk about chasing ghosts because you should have been chasing Magic Johnson because that's your lane. That's Indeed. more of a comparison. Comparison. Than to you to Michael Jordan. Sorry, that's it. Is you can stay around for another ten years and break every record. You just been been the guy that stayed around for a whole lot of time and you yeah. broke records because that's what happened to uh, what's the center? Uh, Kareem. Kareem. He was just yeah. he stayed around a long time and he was able to hold and and break records. But guess who? Guess who? What they wasn't talking about. It wasn't talking about Kareem. They was talking about Magic Bird. Yeah. Jordan. Sometimes it's your, it's your impact on the game, brother. The impact on the game. And to man. say that, yo, it's harder. And I'm like, what are we talking about, man? This guy had to go through so many people in order to get to where he was at. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. No, I don't, I don't like, get uh, it. So, you know, like, again, I, I, I say this and we're going to end it. On, on on this note here about I was like I'm just um just play basketball man play basketball yeah. and and yeah. that's it that's all we care about yeah uh, all this yeah. other stuff man it's just you know it's just it's it's nonsense and it just it just shows you how consumed this guy is about trying to trying to look in the eye to be in the oh. eye of the people that have whom be called the greatest or maybe and not. be the king yeah. so I'll say this brother James you tell your peoples to stop saying stupid shit because it makes you look bad, mm-hmm. right? So if you had nothing to do with this, I'm fine with it, brother. I don't know you. I'm just saying, you dig, dig what I'm saying to you. If you if you really hood, and I'm not saying the hood dude, but you're from the hood, you understand what we're saying. One man does not vouch for another man. You let that man vouch for itself. So what I'm saying is, brother, you didn't play, did your thing. Your game has been your vouch for yourself. 
That's right. I don't need your man to say, yo, oh, my man's life is harder than that dude. <laughs> right. You heard what I'm just saying? Yo, my man's life is, he sounds like he's your chick. Yeah. We don't do that. And you know that, bro. You know that. We don't do that. You know, you represent you. Period. Definitely. And that's Great. all that is. But yeah, I'm, I'm out on that note, man. God hey, bless you and good night. This has been the Sports Chasers Podcast. We don't rock with you for an hour and almost 30 minutes, just about. Um, we can be found at all, wherever you get your podcast uh, from. Uh, yeah. My uh, moderator is not here tonight. And he will probably be joining us here probably next week sometime. So yeah, and well, he'll yeah. be probably on the night doing the post production because yeah, Kevin Kevin's serious with his thing, man. So he definitely serious about his thing, and you know he got uh he had got called away. So uh on that note, um uh, yeah, we enjoy bringing this spot um podcast to you tonight. Um, uh, we'll yeah, catch yeah, you no guys doubt. next week. And uh, we hope that you guys will join us. And uh, again, like, subscribe, share, share with your peoples. And if you uh, got questions really... or you mad about what we say, I'm sorry, D. Yeah, Yo, yeah man. Shoot us a question, man. Yeah, say, put it on, put it. it on say YouTube. Say it on uh, YouTube, and, and, whatever. And we'll, we'll, we'll try to answer it, man. And, and you know, listen, like JG said, man, I address all drama, baby. All of it. All of it. I address all of it all. You know, so it's, I'm good. We can do this. Yeah. We can do this because people of intelligence can agree to disagree. Facts. All so, right. On that note, yo, we'll catch y'all next week with all the guys. Hopefully, everybody, we we all be here uh, no next doubt. week. All right. So peace. on that note, peace.